All right, well, it's time to throw my shards away, so you don't have to. I will be pulling shards later on stream live, so come on out for our shard party every Friday night. But until then, hopefully this will hold you over so you don't have to pull today. What's up, guys? MTG Jedi here, pulling shards so you don't have to. I don't know, are you guys pulling for the Scored uh, Soul down here? I'm a little disappointed with how this fusion was not well received, and now we have the Hero's Path, which there's only the five star soul. It's all or nothing, guys. Either you're going to spend the 90,000 points, almost, I think it's like 89,500. The 90,000 points that you need to get this, or you're going to skip it, okay? And if you're going to do that, then you might as well think about maxing this event out, uh, you know, if possible, because there's a Mythic book over here, there's an Eternal Soul Stone, there's two Lego books over here. Uh, we'll see what all I get into, okay? We'll see what all I get into, but here, if you're going to do this, you should probably go, I don't know. You should probably go down the left side is my, is my recommendation because I don't, because you have to come down the left side for the soul. And so if you go down the right side to start, you'll need extra points, but you have to come down and then come over to the middle to get the key then come down to the left to unlock it with the key and get the soul. Then if you get the soul, then you can get the other two keys. And if you get the other two keys, that could lead you to getting these things pretty easily. So either way, I don't know what I'm doing. But what I do know for sure is that I would like this soul. Okay, I would like this soul because I like Scorid. Now, I have the best Hex champion in the game, which is going to be Valkanen, and so I don't know how much I'm going to use him. However, I like him more than most people, so I know that that means that I'm likely to use him, and you have to plan ahead with these things. In another month or two, when you bust your score out and build him after you figure out that he's good... Um, you might regret this, okay? So if you went for the fusion and you think you're going to use him and you have the resources available, I know that's a lot of ifs, okay? I get it. But if all those things are true, then I think that we should come down and get this. Also, Plarium, if you want to do this, this should be a six-star soul. That would incentivize people to come in here if it was a six-star perfect soul. That would be crazy good and worth of these points. If not, then this should be less than 50. As is, this is way overpriced, and I fully admit that. I'm going to pull my primal shards today just because I want to pull primal shards, not because it's actually a good idea, and because that's the, really the only resource I have that's good to pull. I want to save my void shards. I really just do. I just have a feeling... And I want to save them. You know, we could see very easily Odin being a guaranteed Void Legendary. And I just want to be in a good position to, to get that if I can be. So anyway, that's all of my thoughts over here, I think. But let me just first say that on your account, depending on what nukers you have available, Scored could literally be the best nuker on your account. He could be the best nuker on your account. His multipliers are that good, guys. They are that good. This ability is very strong. And again, I do like his kit. So with that being said, we might see him in a future video on my channel here. So stay tuned. If you want to see that, I do have a sweet idea um to utilize him and obviously when i do takeovers he's a champion that i'm going to be looking for he is a champion that i will be looking for 
Now, what you really want is us to come over to 229, because that's where we pull. 229. It's mythic time. Oh, they already know it's me. I'm just used to putting that one on other people's accounts. <laughs> so, here's what my plan is. I don't have any sacreds, otherwise I would probably pull them, but I just, I pull my sacreds too often, I think, too often. Um, I don't think that I'm putting any of these champions in here, okay? I certainly don't need Kandrafon, Um, and I don't think I need any of these other champions. So I'm not going to put any in there, and that will give me a chance to get other champions that are not on this progressive and i'm gonna pull my primals and these couple ancients that i have just from events and dungeons really most of those i don't know if you guys realize this like let it sink in the more dungeons you run the more ancient shards you can get because you get them like one percent of the time from the dungeons so if you run a bunch of dungeons you can get them I don't think that this Remnant Summon counts. I don't know why the Remnant Summons don't count most of the time, but we're going to hold off. Uh, let's go ahead and do the Ancient Shards first. Put in the comments your prediction on whether or not we're going to get this. And then do I have a picture of the gem giveaway? I don't think so. Um, let's do a gem giveaway in the comments as well. UM player IDs in the comments with how many legendaries you think I'm going to get today. It's probably zero. That's <laughs> I can't say anything though. I have a Teox squad and uh, that has used up my luck for probably the rest of the year. But we'll see. You never know, okay? You never know. Wish I could donate that Kellen to somebody. 3,000 coins. And then I think the other part of the event is Dungeon Divers, right? Dungeon Divers is the other part of the event. So we can run some dungeons. I don't know what dungeons I want to run, but something. Um, with at least the energy that I have. I don't think there are any dungeon tournaments starting or anything like that. But the Dragon Tournament is available. So we could do that. And of course, any primal shard could lead to a mythical champion. It could. It could. And uh, those are the champions that I'd love to have on my account. I'd love a copy of every mythical, if I'm being honest, because then I could make the most coolest, inter interestingest videos. <laughs> I I used that as a line in tomorrow's video as well, and I messed it up there also, so that's why I'm laughing. All right, so absolute garbage, trash can, nonsense, nothing from the first four, and now let's do some depressing ten pulls while I drink some coffee. I would not mind spinning my coffee out for a mythical here. Um, but, you know, more than likely, it's going to be all rares. I also do not get... <laughs> I also do not get legendaries very often from these shards, which is weird, because it's a much higher rate than anything else. Here's the other 10 pull. Uh, at some point, we will get something good from Primal Shards again. Um, probably I should just be saving all of these for the 2x, and you guys are yelling at me in the comments. Legendary? Ah! <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Um, she will be featured in tomorrow's video. Make sure you come back and tune in. We did get one legendary, and I did just say I never get legendaries. I actually like Kaja a lot. Uh, her A3 and her A2 need to be switched, in my opinion. I literally just hate that. Um, this is a very good ability. It is very good for Hydra as well. She's one of the better revivers for Hydra. She does have a full team revive. And then, in addition to that, increased crit rate and increased crit damage. I don't really like Timit for Hydra, which is kind of unfortunate. But... Kaja, very good. 
She's in the like Kaja, Elva, like that type of champion um, team setups, but she is better than a lot of the other possible revivers. So if you need a reviver in one of your Hydra teams, she's actually good. Uh, let's see how many points that that got us, and then we'll wrap up the video. No, I don't want to buy anything, Plarium. Okay, so that got us 68,700 points. And if you're in it for Primal Shards, the Primal Shards are a really good rate. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to do that. I'll probably pull some Mystery Shards, and then we'll do a little bit of Dungeon Divers to get the rest of it. Um, for now, let's go ahead and show you the path that you need to go. You need to come down here. You need to get the keys. You need to not use the key right there. <laughs> because you need to use the key on the left side to unlock this. If you're going for the soul. If you're not going for the soul... Just do whatever you want, okay? Now we have 28,900. We need uh, basically 20,000 more points here to get the soul. And then I will use any extra resources to probably get the keys. And then get the immortal soul stone and then maybe start coming down to the speed glyph something like that i doubt i'm gonna have enough points to get the eternal soul stone but we might be able to get both of those so we'll see um again i don't really think that there's a lot going on right now it's just the dragon tournament so yeah, I mean, we have Classic Arena. Hopefully something else will come up here, but uh, if not, then I'll just maybe run this Dragon Tournament or do something else with my time. Um, I do need to run Iron Twins. And then Dragon Hard 10. So there's all of that. So we might do that um, in order to get some more points. Let me know what you think about all of this, and don't forget to put your UM player IDs in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, make sure you go check out the Godforge channel. I am uploading a video on there today as well. Have a great one. See you later.